Thanks for popping in to the Howie Games YouTube channel. Love that you're giving the show a bit of a crack. The full audio podcast you can listen to, these little chunks if you don't want to miss them, video style. Bang, hit that little subscribe button there. You will not miss any of them, including the episode with Mark Philippoussis. Known as a tennis player, but he also loves to surf something close to my heart. Had me in stitches when he started telling me a story about going to Winky Pop on a 10-foot day and thinking, yeah, I can handle that when he blatantly couldn't. One of the best stories we've heard on the show. Check it out. And I remember someone saying, I'm oh, Mark Philippoussis out there. And I'm like, the tennis guru, he's like, yeah, he's out there surfing. And then I, a mate told me that he'd been out surfing and he had some story that you'd been washed down the beach and ended up in a cave or something. And now that I've got you here, Absolutely, this yeah. is true. Let's, let's put it to rest. Well, if you remember that day, it was huge. That enormous. It was, it was, and I was so undergone with my board and, and I drove down from Melbourne. I'm not driving down from Melbourne, I'm not pedaling out, especially when it's pumping this much. You know what I mean? But at least you paddled out. But you're not out. realizing how big it is until you get out there. At and least I you knew, went though, not like me. <laughs> I knew I was out of my element as soon as I paddled out. So I paddled out Bell's area near the rocks, right? Jumping Around the, on the right side of the rocks. Yeah. And I remember duck diving through two ways. I'm like, shit i'm like it's, i need to go in it is too big so i thought and let me tell you what what it was it was a combination of a couple of things it was the size was big right but it was more about there was a huge huge rip Sweet. sweeping down all the way to jack all the way to Torquay, and it was strong like if you it was i you would have to paddle good momentum of paddling to stay in the same spot like like proper paddling to stay in the sun. Like if you just did this, you were drifting. And if you stood in the same place for 10 seconds, you were gone 20 meters, 30 meters. <laughs> it was that bad. <laughs> and I didn't know over the years this would happen. And there were very good surfers that I would hear that would just get swept down and they would go out down further and Jan Juck or come out of Jan Juck and they would just let it do that and not to fight it. I didn't know. I never asked or, and I rushed out and I knew I shouldn't be out there. I'm on a 6'10 board. I'm 6'5 or 6'10. I should have been like on an 8 0. It was, you know what I mean? That day was huge. You needed the big rhino chaser. Oh my God. And then I knew I'm like, and I, as <laughs> soon as I ducked dive twice, I'm like, oh, sh-. and I'm waiting out there. I'm like, oh, this is crazy. I'm like, you know what? Oh, third thing. And it was super high tide. Like normally you could, you would take one on, on the stomach into the reef and get, get in the staircase. It was going, there was no reef. Like it was so high tide. You had to time it perfectly to get onto the staircase like you couldn't it was it was like way the reef was completely gone it was super high tide so there's three bad things like a bad combination that i learned really bad so i'm like oh let me you know what i'm just gonna take one in i'll take a smaller one in and i'll on the thing and and all of a sudden i'm like dude this is out of control i'm like and i kind of was trying to catch a middle one, like a mid-sized one, and I look out and I look at the staircase. I'm like, oh my God, the staircase is already to my left. I'm like, what am I gonna do? I'm like, I've got to take one in. And again, I, I paddle out, I'm like, I gotta try and take a mid. So I'm like paddling, 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 trying to get this mid-sized one, and I miss it. And I turn around and there's bomb sets coming. I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. So I paddle, paddle, paddling. I quickly got over the rocks between the sets. And there happened to be, don't call it, a, it's a cave now, but it was a little kind of covering area where I, I just sat there and gathered myself because my adrenaline had kicked in because I was, you know, scared. Yeah. And I, I was shaking, <laughs> dehydrated, hungry. And I'm driving home. And then I get these phone calls. My mum, close friend of mine, Oh, what's going on? You, you've been lost. They sent, apparently there's a helicopter. You've been lost at sea. They sent a helicopter for you. I'm like, I'm fine. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm driving home. I'm fine. <laughs> Television crew in front of my mum's house. I'm like, are you guys kidding me? I'm like, dude, there's got to be something else going on in the world. <laughs> like, you know, I'm like, I'm, you know, I was lost. I feel poos was lost at sea. And then it just went. Now, now the story is every time I watch Bells, I have to listen to it. And now apparently I'm, I was like living in this cave for three days. Hey guys, Howie here. Thank you so much for watching the Howie Games YouTube channel. We really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you watch plenty more clips. Now, if you want to get the full podcast, 
from the clip you've just heard. You can see the full link on the description. If you want to subscribe to the Howie Games YouTube channel, which we would love, just click on the button below. And if you want to see more content from the Howie Games, over to your right, all the clips are there. Thank you once again so much. And as always, peace and love.